and a mayday to y'all out there. August 3rd, 2021. Out on Tappan Lake growing a thunder cricket. That's the uh, Strike King version of their chatterbait that's supposed to be the, the Mac Daddy. Throwing that with a brush hog, red flake, green watermelon, uh, watermelon red flake with a black and red uh, thunder cricket chatterbait. So it's kind of stained this water right now. So maybe the fish will hone in on it. I've seen some fish busted. Chatterbait might be just what they want. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. I appreciate having you along for the ride. I haven't been blanked on this lake. Cross my fingers, it doesn't happen again, or it doesn't ha happen at all here today. Um, I'm gonna throw a frog, the double fluke, um, the Ned Brig, and uh, a black and blue jig, and uh, I'm gonna try to pull something out. About one o'clock, the water temperature, 80 degrees, the water temperature and uh i'm ready to do it so let's rock it out guys thanks for being with me just down here by the dam right now throwing a little ned rig off a Senko and uh, throwing it on a Ned Rig. I have problems. I don't know if you guys know, I suffer from vertigo. And today I am having some horrible problems. So the water and everything's making me nauseous. Very dizzy. And uh, I don't know how long I can hold out. I just took some medicine. So hopefully, hopefully that'll kick in. Tell you catching a fish would feel good. I don't know if it'd make it go away, but feel good. Well guys, just trolling with a swim jig. Got a paddle tail red minnow on there. Trolling over to this spot along the along the shoreline. There's a shade line and uh, gonna try to hit it right around there. Once we get past the cove up there, there's some fish in that, that place. And some underwear. I think that's where I caught the underwear. Ah, mayday. <laughs> Keen in on it. Probably should have set my drag a little bit tighter. Man, this one looks like a good one. Oh, he is. A good catfish. Exactly what I didn't want in my boat. Ah. Well, you little bastard. I guess you're on. I guess I gotta take you on. Never did this with a catfish before. But he pulled hard. He was a good fighter. Oh, no. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, and there goes my rag. But we can save the rag, I think. And we did. We saved the rag. Got it. Catfish. That's minus. That's a negative. You don't score any points with catfish, you lose. I think that's like a minus two. Ah, oh, geez. Thought I had a nice bass there for a second. Well, still never blanked at tapping. <laughs> Mayday, that's a good thing. Oh, even if it was a catfish. Let's get another one. 
be moving to the other side of the lake, guys. I just fished this whole shoreline all the way from the dam way, way down there, all the way up through here. And nothing except that catfish. Let's get out of here. Let's go down around Marina Cove and around uh, probably where I uh, caught the last two bass where I was here. I'm going to go over there and see if that tree, if I can pull another one out of that tree. Tying on new line using this jig, skirted jig with this uh, biffle bug on it. Casted it. The line on the braid broke and it it wasn't at the knot it got sheared off because this pool berkeley makes it it's called the berkeley um shock shock rod and uh it's got the uh eye missing out of it well there's an eye there but it's got the ceramic missing out of it and i think what happened was it just too sharp and it cut it none of the other ones have the ceramic out of the eyes um i told berkeley about this problem when i bought it because it happened shortly after they sent me a brand new shock rod no questions asked it's the one I, you always see me double fluking with and it's nice, um, but I figured I would use this one, see how much mileage I got out of it. Well, it almost cost me a jig. Thank golly, where, where it landed, it was right along the shore in about five feet of water, and the uh, braid was still floating up top, and I was able to go and just pull, grab the braid and pulled up and there was my jig so I got lucky man I got real lucky because I'm really down on jigs right now it's affecting me mentally and if you fish you know what that means you have that one bait that you're really comfortable with and you really enjoy throwing it and for me, that's a skirted jig. Well, it's not the black and blue one, but it's the second favorite to me, the black and blue. But the the one I the other one is the one I have. It's green. I can't even describe it. Um, but you've seen me fish with it. I've ordered uh, ordered about twenty of them, so they'll be here hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Plus, I went online yesterday and I ordered 50 brush hogs, 18 something with like $9 shipping and tax and everything, came out to $29. Heck, I could have bought them cheaper, 50 of them cheaper at, at uh, wherever they sell them in a the store. But I live in the country and going to a store that has multiple stuff for fishing and everything it's an hour drive so i guess paying anything extra is worth it so i'm gonna reload here with the uh the sonar i'm gonna use my sonar jig and see if i can't get into a little bit of deep water that has a, a grade, throw it down and, and bring it back up. See if we can't get a saw guy to hit it. I do that at Atwood and it works on saw guy. And there's saw guy in here. So that's what I'm thinking right now. We're starting the, the first what, week of August. So talking to everybody, nobody's caught a fish. But I did. I caught a catfish. <laughs> that doesn't count. In fact, that counts against you. <laughs> anyway, 
let's rig this up, move to a spot, and get throwing the sonar. You've got to be kidding me. I just threw this thing on, threw it out one time. Ouch. Ah. I thought I had something, but I was thinking, no way. I caught a white bass. Oh my golly. The thing did, I mean, it, it had to have just hit the water. I mean, unbelievable. That thing right there, it hit the water. And I thought maybe it was just when I started cranking, I said, man, this thing's really heavy in the water. <laughs> oh my golly. That was unbelievable. I love it when they do that. Tell you what, those white bass. I didn't even have a time to put my glove back on. Those white bass have some sharp, my golly, sharp gill or fins on them. They're sharp. They're really sharp. Boo boo. We'll be okay. Well, I didn't get a chance. I just threw that out there to get the. On the first cast, I threw it out there so I could get my reel straightened out and just adjust, do adjustments on my reel, then put some of this other stuff away. Little did I know. Da -na 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 White bass. Oh, I'll take him though, man. I will take him. I have no idea how this uh, how this jig swims. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it must be a yeah, it must be a vibrating. I can feel it when I pull it. I can feel it. Zzz. All right. Well, let's go find a spot and. I can't say catch some fish because we already caught a fish, but let's go find another spot and catch some fish. I am way down at the east end of the lake. About one minute from here is Caddis. <laughs> Any of you all know Caddis, Ohio? That's 250, that's the end of the lake right down there. Bass tournament's on, and I am double fluking. I'm not in the bass tournament, but it's just on. Let's see if the double fluke can get some magic here. Take a look at my new double fluke ring. I got three rings on there now. Well, it's one ring that's got three loops. So I don't have to uh, monkey around. Monkey around with it. Now I just put that on, tie it up, start fluking. Not seeing a lot of fish back in here. We're gonna have to take a little cruise. Watch the radar and see if we got any fish out a little deeper. The tournament, all these guys are fishing the shoreline. Guys, I 
cut the camera off of the thing, but I think I got one here. Oh yeah, I got one. Oh. Like down my drag. Big white bass. Big white bass. Crazy Nathan. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. I think he's trying out for the special or the flipping Olympics. Oh man. That didn't take long. Ah! Hold on. There you go. Get out of here. I was just trolling through here and eating a sandwich and saw my line bend over. Uh, where are all the bass? Well, that really screwed this one up. Let's get another one. I think I got another fish here. This one, I think I've been dragging him around. I don't know how long I've had him on there, but it could have been a world record for the length he's been on there. Settle down, Nathan. He'd been on there a while. Oh well, let's get another one. This thing's a white bass catching machine. Check it out. Almost like Atwood, man. You catch a white bass at Atwood like mad. We got a, we've got a customer. Well, I hope this one's a saw guy, but it feels little. Real little. You say white bass? Ay, ay, ay. White bass at the marina, guys. Trolling by the marina. Little dude. Little dude. What's that, like my fifth white bass? I'm in the money with white bass. Well guys, that's the end of today. Beautiful day for fishing. 7.30, sun's starting to go down. I'm tired, but I had fun and I appreciate you guys being here. I'll tell you what, what'd we get? Like five, including the catfish, four white bass. Not a bad day. Uh, the bass, I just don't know where they're at or how to catch them right now. Throwing everything in my tackle box and to no avail, man. It just isn't happening. But hey, I think the bass need a month off. Nah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you being with me. 
and I love you and hit that subscribe button if you're new you'll enjoy this channel just ask all my other subscribers Matey! anyway got nothing else for you till next time Mayday is out of here